Do you want to know how to apply paper skins to your rocket fins? That's what I'm going to cover in this video. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Today, I'm going to show you another technique for papering fins. Now, this technique uses just plain paper and your wooden fin. Uh, my fin here today is basswood, uh, which is very similar to balsa wood, although it has a little bit tighter grain. But the process is going to be the same. Uh, what we're going to use is some ordinary wood glue and a little bit of water and we're going to apply these skins. Um, the advantage of applying skins is it makes them stronger, but the disadvantage is because we're adding water, um, it has the possibility of warping the fin. So we need to avoid that, and hopefully what I'm going to show you today will, will try to give you ideas on how to prevent your fins from warping. Um, now, normally on big fins, you might want to use fiberglass and epoxy rather than paper. Uh, the advantage of paper is it's cheap, it's not as strong, so you won't get the, you know, the strength of fiberglass or Kevlar or even carbon fiber. But it's good enough for small rockets. Um, here I've got kind of a medium-sized fin, um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So. First, I would suggest cutting out fin templates. They're the exact size as your fin. Um, it just makes it easier later on when you go to sand. It's just less things to sand off and to trim out later. Um, so I'm gonna start by taking some wood glue and just gonna pour it into a little container. And then, I'm going to add some water, and it's probably going to be, you know, two parts water to one part glue. And I'm just going to eyeball it. And then I'm going to take an old paintbrush. Um, you know, you're adding glue to the bristles, so you can clean them out. And I've, I've used this one several times for this technique, but I can tell it's getting a little stiff. So you can see it's, it's a lot more watery now. Um, and the advantage is uh, by thinning it out, we're going to get an even coat of glue. Um, if you start with just, you know, raw glue, undiluted, um, you're going to get lumps in your surface. And that's what I'm trying to avoid. Um, so first I'm going to paint and the technique here is you got to paint both sides at the same time. So I'm going to paint one side like half of it and I'll flip it over and then do the back side. And then I'm going to just continue on paint both sides. Okay, so now I gotta kinda like stand this off so it's gonna drip on the table, unfortunately, but you know, it's pretty watery so it's easy to clean up. Uh, next, I'm gonna paint my, my templates. And now these are a little bit harder to do. Um, and I would probably suggest getting a sheet of paper uh, and laying it on there and painting it. And we only need to do one side. Okay, you can see it's curling up like that. And so you gotta kinda take that. And I'm gonna take my, my, my wood, and I'm gonna press it on here. And you gotta try to avoid, you know, pushing too hard uh, because that water is wicking through the paper. Uh, it wants to, you know, kind of slough off some of the fibers. Okay, so this side is still wet. Um, I'll just add a little bit more, just a touch, just to keep it wet. Um, you can also see uh, that my paper has elongated, and that's because paper swells up when it gets wet. 
Um, there's nothing you can do about it. Just, you know, just assume that it's going to happen. Don't worry about it. Um, when it dries, um, it'll be fine. All right, so now I'll do my next one. The other thing to remember when you do this is you got to do the right side. So you'll kind of know which side you're going to paint. And it's curling up pretty fast. Okay. All right, so I got both sides done. Now here's the hard part is we wanna keep this from warping. Um, so we need to smash it between two heavy objects um, to keep it from warping. Uh, the problem is the glue dries by evaporation. So we need to get air to it to, you know, to allow that water to evaporate out so that the glue dries. Uh, so sticking it between two pieces of plastic, which would be ideal because the glue doesn't stick to the plastic. Unfortunately, that doesn't allow air at it to dry. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of nylon cloth. And you can see that this looks like an old parachute. And it was. <laughs> uh, but nylon allows it to breathe because it, it's, it's woven fiber. So a little bit of air can get at it. Um, so I'm just going to fold it in to the, to the nylon cloth. Uh, you can see that um, when I'd done this before and I had a little piece of paper stick to it, but it's not really stuck. It peels up quite easily because it doesn't really stick to the nylon. Um, so that's why we can kind of get away with using it. Um, so I want to flatten it out and then the other thing I want to do is I want to take some cardboard and I want to sandwich it between cardboard before I put the heavy objects on it. Again, um, cardboard will wick up water and that's what we want. We want to get that water out. Um, so I got a little bit of breathability with the nylon plus the cardboard to, uh, to kind of suck it out. And then I'm gonna stick on the heavy object. You know, you can use a lot of books if you don't have something metal, um, just to keep it flat while it's drying. And unfortunately, it's probably gonna take maybe like a day or maybe even two days to be dry enough to pull it out and start working with it. Um, you know, it, there's still not a lot of air getting in there to dry it out. So you got to just wait. Um, and that's the unfortunate thing. Uh, but when you're done, they do turn out to be pretty nice fins. Um, this one, I just got more glue on the surface. <laughs> uh, but this one, um, I had done the method and you can see it is nice and straight and it's really strong. Um, I do have to come along and sand off the edges. But at this point, the fin is pretty much done. Um, and, and ready for building of the rocket. So that's my technique on, you know, using wood glue to laminate paper skins onto balsa wood or basswood fins so that it makes them stronger. Um, we, there are other techniques on strengthening fins. And if you go to the Apogee website and go through our videos, uh, we call them advanced rocketry construction videos. Um, you'll find them in our archives. Um, and I'll try to link to some here um, that should come up next on this YouTube video. So thanks for watching. My name is Tim Van Milligan. This is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.